I'm Matt Savage, and you're watching The Savage Beat. The hands from this week's Savage Beat are from the exciting WPT Party Poker Knockout Bounty Championship, where busting somebody can be worth so much more than a simple ladder. You just can't become one of the best in the world without taking some chances, but in the Kamikaze Bluff of the Week, Ali Mzrovic had poker pros James Dempsey and Benny Glazer confused when he got Sergei Denisov to lay down the best hand with just a pair of threes. Wow. A double knockout is always sweet, but even more sugary in a WPT main tour stop with 14 left. Even better when you collect two bounties worth thousands, and of course when Yago does it against Ali and Maras with the worst starting hand, that's the cherry on top. High hands of the day win prizes in live card rooms around the world, but in this high hand of the week, Pedro Marquez makes a six high straight flush and wins a small pot with his huge hand at the final table of the WPT Bounty Championship. In every tournament, there are make or break hands that can change a player's fortune, and this tournament is no different. In our fate of the week, Daniel Smith had to avoid 14 cards on the turn and 16 cards on the river, and luckily for him, he did and survived and later thrived. You know, sometimes you just have to lay down the best hand to fight another day. And in the bounce back hand of the week, Daniel Smith didn't have to wait long as he picked up Pocket Queens the very next hand to eliminate John Morelli and go heads up with poker legend Manig Lozer. The double up of the week even caught Jamie Kerstetter by surprise when Daniel Smith shoved with Ace Deuce, but she correctly read the situation with the bounty implications that Manig Lozer would have to make the call. He did, and he'd be happy to see that he was in front. But when the deuce hit the flop, Smith's championship's hopes were resurrected. The clincher of the week was a bit anticlimactic to everyone except for our newest WPT champion, Daniel Smith, on an amazing final table performance highlighted by the fact he turned a $33 satellite win into over $400,000 and now belongs to the very exclusive WPT Champions Club. Congratulations, Daniel. 